It's time to duel. I draw. I summon Obelisk the Tormentor! <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How are you guys doing tonight? Welcome to another episode of Phenomenal Views. I am your host, Nick Smith, and this is my review for Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of Dimensions. Ladies and gentlemen, this movie was awesome. This movie was just flat out amazing. A perfect sequel to the new Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. I don't even know if this one is canon, but this movie was good. This movie had great animation, great duels, great character development. The best character development in this whole entire movie was Kaiba. The writing in this movie is spot on. This actually fills in a lot of plot holes. It really does. Now, I paid attention, but unfortunately my roommate knows more about this than I do. So, I'm not going to go into spoilers. I'm going to try not to go into spoilers as much, but it does fill in a lot of plot holes. One thing that I was honestly surprised about in this movie is the character development with Kaiba. Because Kaiba is freaking hilarious in this movie. I mean, my gosh, he is funny. He... Okay, remember how I said in my Yu-Gi-Oh! movie review how Kaiba's a psychopath? In this one, he's not a psychopath, but his... Oh, what? His superiority word complex has gone from here to here. Because he basically says that if he met the creator of the world, he would fire him. And I was like, okay. So Kaiba's now saying he should have been God. <laughs> but one of the things about this movie is finally Kaiba actually is kind of nice. And like that's something that we've always seen Kaiba be like this strict, hard person to Yugi. Even though Yugi has saved his life a bunch of times. And even though his friends have always done things for Kaiba, Kaiba has always been, whatever, I don't need you, I don't need friends. But at the end of it, at the very end of the movie, you really see a character development, a change in Kaiba. And when this movie was over, we were all applauding. We really were. So the main thing in this movie is, in the first movie, when Yugi put the Millennium Puzzle together, he woke up Anubis, the god of the dead. In this, apparently... The Pharaoh being put back, the fair, all the Millennium items getting taken back to Egypt and put in that stone tablet did something else. And so now that something else happened, someone's pissed at Yugi and thinks Yugi is pure evil, and so now he's going to try to stop him to get revenge on, on Yugi for something that he didn't even know he did. Another good thing about this movie is they actually did have the characters grow up. Yugi and all of them, Yugi is taller. Yugi has broader shoulders, as someone told me, and a lot of the characters look like they have aged. They don't really sound that much different. I did not like Duke Devlin's voice, so that would honestly probably be one of the only things that bugged me. Mokuba didn't get captured, so there's a, there's a thing. But, like, this movie just... This movie's more about Kaiba than it is Yugi, and, like... Like, you just see all the stuff that Kaiba has done in this movie. He has he has a satellite in space. Of course he has a satellite, and of course satellites are in space. But, like, he has one... Spa he has a space station that is... That's basically... It goes from Earth to freaking space. And it's basically like Kaiba trying to recreate... The and another thing with this movie is Kaiba is still obsessed with the fact that he could never beat the Pharaoh, Atem. So he keeps trying to reanimate the Millennium Puzzle and trying even to find it so he can have one final duel with with uh, with with Atem. And just like seeing as like his devotion to do this and like when he finally gets it it's like it's it's really awesome. This movie was honestly something I would strongly recommend even if you're not a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh. You will have a fun time with this movie. We get to see a lot of new cards. We get to see Kaiba's new cards. We get to see Yugi's new cards. Joey doesn't duel, even though he talks about his duel disc getting taken and polished and broken all the time. Kaiba talks about a new tournament, but it's only, it's not as big, it's not like Battle City. It's something different. But one thing I do like is the duel discs. And even, there's a little tiny plug-in for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And when I talk about that, it's like they do mention Duel Links in a commercial, but then, like, actually, in the movie, they do say Lynx and Duel, but, like, it just made me think of, um... It made me think of the app 
because like of where everything like nowadays is you get us caught up with the times it is caught up in modern day and like just kaiba's just making all this new stuff and i was sitting there in the movie theater thinking you know why doesn't kaiba just freaking become the president of the united states he practically owns the world and another thing apparently kaiba bought out the cia the cia and the freaking fbi and whatever but i bet you know i bet you this is what they're thinking we are protecting somebody who is the owner of a card game corporation but we're getting paid lots more money to pr than protecting the innocent Ah, screw the innocent. We get money. As Kaiba would say, screw the rules. I have money. And like I said, Kaiba is very funny in this. He even makes a joke about like when he's when his scientists have like kind of reanimated the Pharaoh. He's like, I have created every single detail to his dick, to his silly, ridiculous, poofy spiked hair. There were so many people laughing in this movie theater. This movie was awesome. It was such a fun ride. I got Obelisk the Tormentor. And other people got slack for the Sky Dragon. They did not have Raw, but that is because Raw is not in the movie. Now, if you honestly probably don't really need to be caught up with the series to go watch this movie, because they kind of do explain they they explain a few things. And like I said earlier, they do put they do tie up loose ends and basically kind of have everything kind of wrapped up in a bow and leaving it on to the next series. Like it somehow connects. It connects with GX, and it even connects with 5D somehow, I want to say. But this movie had a phenomenal start, a phenomenal ending, and it had some emotional moments, too. It was a really good film. I didn't honestly think it was going to be this good, and I've seen people saying Yu -Gi the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie is awesome. Guys, this is honestly, right now, my contender for movie of the year, my favorite movie of the year. Guys, Yu-Gi-Oh! the movie, Dark Side Dimensions, gets an A+. Plus. The only thing I would say that I really did not like was the fact that I just didn't like Duke Devlin. And even though like, they say it's the same voice actor, I did not like the voice of Duke, and I did not like the, the look of Duke. I just didn't like it. It just didn't look good. To me, it didn't. It just looking at Duke, I was like, oh, please get him off camera. Please get him off camera. Please move. Please move. Oh, praise the Lord. But, guys... Overall, this movie is really good. This is a pure, this is a good movie. Not for just Yu-Gi-Oh fans, but a good movie overall. It really is. This is something I strongly recommend you go out and watch. Even if you're not a fan. If you're not a fan of the show, the game, or the manga, give this movie a try. You honestly will like it. It has, the effects are awesome. The duels are awesome. They even made, like, the monsters even more three-dimensional. And it looks so cool. It actually looked like the monsters were like they just made everything bigger in this movie this movie felt big it started big and it ended big it was so good guys this has been another episode of phenomenal views put in the comments below if you did watch this movie what do you think what is your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh anime i strongly want to know i really do and guys thank you for watching this video and i just want to say thank you for enjoying time on my channel like i said Please look forward to my full review on the series of Unfortunate Events by Netflix. I promise you that is coming. Uh, another video is going to be coming. I'm almost done collecting something that I know you guys are going to enjoy. I cannot wait to share it with you. Guys, get your decks ready. Get your cards ready. And even go get a duel disc. Because, guys, it's time to duel. Have a good day, guys.